In this video, we'll do the integral of sine x over x, from x going from 0 to 1. So f of x, if it's a power series, will be the sum from n goes from 0 to infinity. The nth derivative at 0, x equals 0 over n factorial, times x minus a to the n, but a will be 0 in this case. We're going to let a be 0. So sine x will be f of so we're going to let f of x be sine x. We want to find the nth derivative at 0. So f prime of x will be cosine x. The second derivative of f with respect to x, the second derivative of f with respect to x is negative sine x. The third derivative will be negative cosine x and etc. So the so f of x is actually the zeroth derivative. So plugging in at zero, x equals zero, the sine of zero is zero. Plugging in for f prime, this will be cosine of zero is one. Second derivative at zero will be zero. The third derivative of zero at zero. So negative cosine of zero is negative one, so that'll be negative one. So we know that f, the nth derivative at 0. So if n is even, so 0, 2, etc., it will be at 0. So if n even and n odd, it will be negative 1, the n. So it will fluctuate between negative 1 and, and 1. So we're going to write sine x. So we're not going to write the even parts, so this will just be the odd parts. So let's start at, so at n equals 1, we have the nth, the first derivative at 0, which is 1, times x to the 1 over 1 factorial. And then we have the third derivative at 0, which is negative 1, times x squared over 2 factorial. Sorry, not, no, I meant the third, at, at n equals 3, yeah. So x cubed over 3 factorial. And then you can do, the, do more derivatives. So this would be x to the fifth over 5 factorial minus other terms and then plus other terms. This can be rewritten as the sum from n goes from 0 to infinity. Negative 1 to the n times x to the 2 n plus 1 over 2 n plus 1 parentheses factorial. So sine x over x will be the sum from n goes from 0 to infinity. We have negative 1 to the n. Originally it was x to the 2n plus 1, but we're dividing by x, so it'll be just 2n, because the x, one of the x's will cancel over 2n plus 1 factorial. So now we're going to integrate both sides with respect to x from 0 to 1. We can integrate like a so. We can move all the constants out of the integral. This will be the sum from n goes from 0 to infinity. Negative 1 to the n over 2n plus 1 factorial times the integral from 0 to 1 of x to the 2n. So this, you add 1 and then divide by 2n plus 1. So now I'll just show that step. So this will be the sum from n goes from 0 to infinity negative 1 to the n over 2n plus 1 factorial times x to the 2n plus 1 over 2n plus 1 plugging in from 0 to 1. Plug, if you plug in 0, you just get 0 to the 2n plus 1. Plugging in 1, you just get 1 to any power is still 1. So really, it's just 1 over 2n plus 1. And then we can write that as the sum from n goes from 0 to infinity. Let me do that again. Infinity of negative 1 to the n over 2n plus 1 times 2n plus 1 factorial. And that is the answer. And that's the end of the video.